Now I'm ready to don my surgical gown. I'm going to pick up the surgical gown, being careful not to touch the front of the gown or the sterile field, step away from the surgical table, and I'm going to shake this gown out. Now, if these gowns are properly folded, you're touching the inside of the gown. So, now I'm going to put my arms in the sleeve, and importantly, with closed gloving, you'll notice that my hands are not, not extended through the cuff of the gown. Now, since my field is sterile, my cuffs are sterile, the glove pack is sterile, I can open it without fear, without fear of um, contamination. Now, if I open the glove pack correct side, so the right is on my right side, I've got to take the glove and put it thumb to thumb, like that. Okay, so I got my right glove, my right thumb, to my right thumb. Now I do something a little bit different. I open my glove packs like um, upside down. And so now my left glove is on my right side. I just grab the glove right there and it's already thumb to thumb. So left glove, thumb to thumb. What I'm going to do now is without touching the glove with my hand, I'm going to roll that cup over and completely enclose the cup part of my gown. Okay? And then I'm going to sneak my hand into that glove, just like that. Okay. And then I can do the same thing here. Grab that thumb because it's already thumb to thumb. Flip it over. Completely encircle the cup. And I'm ready to adjust my gloves. That's the closed gloving technique. That's the, the technique we use most commonly here at New Bolton Center. Obviously, it requires a gown, it requires a sterile field to complete, unlike open gloving. Since some surgeries are long, you want to make sure that you have the proper size glove. And in fact, you want to make sure your gloves fit properly and are adjusted properly. I'm going to uh, use this sterile card on the end of the non sterile And this way, theoretically, now my back is sterile. However, you never, you never want to count on the fact that your back is sterile. This is a, a, a good uh, design for a gown, but the problem is that anything here, say here, is likely to be sterile. Anything peripheral to there is not. And so if I'm waiting for something during surgery, I'll just cross my hands, I'll sometimes grab my a gown like this to take a little weight off my hands. But consider from about belt height to um, mid chest sterile, nothing above, nothing below, nothing behind, even though we have a sterile back gown. Um, 